Welcome back, folks. How you doing today? Uh, welcome to another episode of Whiskey Blueprints review on whiskeys. This today we're gonna do a whiskey called Nika Coffee Whiskey, grain whiskey. Um, right off the bat, I want to tell you it has nothing to do with coffee. It doesn't taste like coffee. It doesn't smell like coffee. Um, you don't pour it over like coffee. There's nothing to do with coffee at all. What this has to do with is the actual still that it was it was distilled in. Uh, it's called the coffee still. And back in 63, uh, Japan, the creator basically went and got a coffee still called the, the coffee still from Scotland. And they brought it over and they've been crushing whiskeys out there. So this particular whiskey is got the properties of more of like a bourbon. Um, so I'm a fan, fan of that right off the bat. Um, it, predominantly corn and I, th I think they get some of the peat and stuff from Scotland as well. Um, but um, that's that's Nika coffee. So let's get right into the tasting and the smell of it. So let's check out the color. I love the way this pours. It's super smooth, very elegant, uh, very silky, very sexy. And the color on this is just divine. Like, check it off my white shirt here. Um, it's awesome. It's beautiful. Uh, it's got a very amber, like very clean amber crystallized color. It's gorgeous. Now we know the two, uh, two finger rule. Right? So we want to smell, get some of the smell. And immediately, just a lot of like sugars come out, like the vanillas come out, the butterscotch come out, the caramels come out. Um, because it's predominantly corn, you're gonna get a bit of a sweeter whiskey on this one. There's, on the back end, there's like, um, I get almond as well. Oh, I just got the almond. Um, but there's also a hint of a, a little bit of a texture with, with some kind of spice, but I can't tell what that is right now. Uh, in the future, I will be um, getting a smell kit. Uh, I purchased, I recently ordered a smell kit and that should be arriving. I was going to get an 88 smell kit. That was too many. Uh, so I uh, dumbed it down to half that. And um, so that'll be an interesting, those will be interesting uh, reviews when we do smell stuff regarding flavors around specifically whiskey. So let's have a taste of this whiskey. Uh, the one of the things I love about Nika whiskey is that it is very smooth. It doesn't burn the tongue and almost has no heat uh, coming onto the tongue. Uh, what it also does is it coats your tongue like, like a velvet like a velvet cloth all over it. It goes down the back. It's actually currently happening right now. It's, 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 it's coating the back of my tongue. Uh, so I'm getting the, like the full flavors of this whiskey and I quite enjoy that. There's certain whiskeys that don't do that, but this does that. Very, has, ha, it, it has so many properties of a great bourbon. And Japan are winning just award after award on their Japanese whiskeys, which I just am so delighted by. And Nika Coffee whiskey is just such a such a solid whiskey. I had the pleasure of um, sitting with a few friends, and what we did is I bought the bottle and we just sat <laughs> at my friend's shop and we drank this bottle and talked about it, and we had such a wonderful time doing that. Because we got to share this experience with a bottle that some of them never tried. I hadn't tried it at that time. Um, and we, we engaged in funny conversations. I'll add some clips to it uh, at the end of this. Some blooper clips at the end of this uh, review here. So you get to see some of, the, some of those. But the, the, the sight, the smell, whew, God, that is good. And the taste is just phenomenal. Uh, if you're thinking of... A whiskey you want to start out with and you're like ah, I don't really like the burn I don't really like the harsh flavor sometimes um, I, I, I believe and I'm, I don't know if I'm, I'm fully correct on this uh, you can correct me if you'd like uh, they don't use new oak uh, barrels like so bourbons have to use so if it's if it's a bourbon it's going to be 
and 51% corn and new um, barrels, right? Uh, that's what you do. What that's what what happens when you age bourbon. These guys don't use that. They they use old barrels, uh, old bourbon barrels, uh, and sometimes they might even use uh, Japanese oak um, to 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 age their whiskeys. So you're gonna get a very very smooth glass every on every drink, and each glass tastes like the previous. So sometimes you'll get whiskeys that'll taste smoother as it goes through. Um, sometimes the taste profile changes just slightly. I don't find that to be this way with this particular whiskey. It's exactly like the last glass you pour. And it'll be the, the future glass will be exactly like this glass that you're going to pour. So you can sit with a couple friends and have just a really good time having a glass of Nika whiskey. So congrats, Nika. Thank you for making this. This is an awesome whiskey. That's your review.